So welcome back to the Oki Smoking Channel today. We're going to go ahead and try a spatchcock chicken on the pit barrel instead of hanging it. And uh, what I'm going to do here is go ahead and try and cut the backbone right out of it. Got some shears here. There, yeah, got all the centered out. The backbone out is a little frozen in there. And then we're just going to cut right down here. See if we can bend this. Okay, well there it is, it's partially frozen inside. Uh, so I got ahead and got it cut out, got it turned over. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and season this. And what I did is I just used some SPG seasoning and I have some of my own uh, parsley as well as uh, some lemon thyme that I'm growing. And, I'm, and I added that in here. I went ahead and cut it up through a couple of tablespoons of the SPG and probably about a, a tablespoon or so of the lemon thyme and a little bit of parsley, just a few sprigs of each, and uh, chopped up. Threw it in an empty container, just an empty container, shook it up real well. And now I'm gonna go ahead and season this before I put it on the pit barrel. You can see the fresh parsley, the fresh thyme that I cut up and added to it. Rub this in real good. Sure and put my little bars back in here. And we're good to go. So pretty much just some salt, pepper, garlic. I got some fresh uh, parsley. I've got some fresh lemon thyme. Now that lemon thyme is actually a pretty good, uh, if you ever need to use lemon zest from a lemon, just use lemon thyme. It's a good uh, substitute as a little lemony, so I think that's going to come out real good with this. I'm going to let it cook for about an hour and a half or until it gets, I need to put my probes in here. When it gets to about 150 degrees, I'm going to give it a little bit of a butter bath, uh, add some butter over it, let it cook. I might kind of crack the lid the last uh, 10 or 15 degrees to get to, to that final little bit of crispness, add that butter to it, and then we're going to take it off. So during the uh, prep of this, it was a little frozen in the middle, had a little trouble cutting it. Uh, probably should have been a little more thawed out. That's going to be fine. So it could take a little longer to cook because of that, uh, but I'm just going to put a temperature probe in here, and I have no doubt uh, this should come out fine here in just a couple of hours. So you can see uh, one uh, probe, I put two probes in is at 157, one's at 147. I put one on each, each breast. One could be bigger, or, uh, just more line in the center. I'll go by this one. I don't put too much stock in the remaining, uh, but if we're gonna go ahead and add some uh, melted butter to it. Let's go do that real quick. Wow, just look at that. Doesn't that just look gorgeous? Whoa, that looks an amazing color. Wow, that does. Whoo, that looks great. Looks absolutely great. Let's go ahead and add some butter to it. I'm going to spritz it up a little bit here. So it shouldn't be too much longer. Uh, get that up to about 165 as we got a plane coming overhead here. All the time. Let's see. <laughs> like I said, it won't be too much longer. We'll get these off and see how it tastes. I want to show you something else. Let me set it. Now I've also got some uh, 
chocolate chip cookie dough. Love Reese's Pieces. So you may be saying, what am I doing with this? Well, whatever you cook on the, and I just realized this lid's a little bit cracked. I'm gonna make sure that's good and tight and shut. Uh, but whenever you uh, get done cooking on uh, the pit barrel or, and you use a lot of charcoal, uh, you waste uh, some charcoal with it going out, unless you go ahead and cook a big feast, you know, cook some other things maybe, uh, maybe for later in the week or something. Uh, well, why not dessert, right? So once we take this chicken off, uh, I mean, you could have, we could have made our own cookie dough, but I, I grabbed a couple of these, they're about three, four dollars a bag. And once we remove this chicken, we're gonna make a little dessert on this pit barrel. So, um, That'll be uh, released in a couple of days after this video, so check that out and just see how these things taste. Nothing fancy, just a real short video. We're just gonna, uh, once we take this chicken off, come out, throw some of those on here and see how they do cooked on the pit barrel. Um, also, I forgot to mention, I did put hickory uh, chips in here, so it's being smoked with hickory as well. So cookies on the pit barrel coming up on the next video. Uh, the chicken uh, taste test coming up in uh, this uh, video so it'll be right up well i haven't tried it yet but it smells amazing i just wrapped this in foil we took it out and let it rest it's been 10 or 15 minutes and now let me go ahead and remove this foil just look at that and let's Take a look inside. Let's go ahead and remove these. That tastes ever a bit as good as if you were to hang it the, the way that Pit Barrel recommends it. That may be better. I mean, that is really, really good. It's got a good smoke flavor. It's good and moist. I mean, just, just take a look at that. It is absolutely great. Looks gorgeous. Tastes delicious. Look at that juices. Look at that. It is moist and it is good. I'm gonna say that's as good. I may, I may like that better than hanging it. I mean, that cooked in two hours flat. Uh, great flavor, great taste. The seasoning is, is great that I added to it. You can get a little bit of that kick of that lemon. And man, you ought to give this a try on the pit barrel if you have one. If not, cook it on the Weber or whatever you have, spatchcock like this. It is great. Now we're going to go put some cookies on for the next video, see how those come out. My name is John. This is the Oki Smoking Channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. It's all outdoor cooking, pit barrel, Blackstone, and more. I'll see you guys soon.